Hey everybody, welcome back. So, if you're new to my channel, I'm Heather. If you're a return subscriber, thank you for your support. Thank you for joining me and being here today. I've got nose ran down. I'm gonna have a series of videos coming out. Because a while back, my doctor, I have um, digestive problems. And she wanted me to try the FODMAP. And if you don't know what that is, it's just like where they have you take out all these foods that are high on the FODMAP. And you cut them out for, I think it's three to eight weeks. And then you reintroduce them back slowly so that you know what is triggering your symptoms. I've never talked about this before, but I have IBS and it is really painful at times. And it's just irritable bowel syndrome. Some people has diarrhea, some people has constipation. Mine is IBS with constipation. So it's for bloating, um, stomach cramps, pains. It is just really hard to deal with. But I'm gonna have a series of videos coming out about this FODMAP. So in today's video, I'm just gonna be talking a little bit about what a FODMAP is. And what it is, it's designed to help people with IBS and other digestive problems to help you figure out what's causing it. And it's just, when you reintroduce your foods, it's gonna, that's gonna tell you what triggers your symptoms. So this spot map is just to help you figure out what is causing it, what is causing your symptoms and what triggers your symptoms. And the FODMAP diet is known as an elimination diet. Like I said, you just eliminate everything for three to eight weeks. And it just depends on your body also. And it's broken down into five different categories. The first one is fermentable, which means that everything, the food that you eat is broken down by bacteria in the large bowel. This next one, I'm not sure how to say this, so I'm probably going to butcher this a little bit. It is Ogeosaccharides. I'll leave the word in the video because I'm not good at these long, weird names. So, And that just means few and saccharides. Well, Olga means few and saccharides means sugar. So then you have the disaccharides which di means two, so that means that's a double sugar molecule. And then you have monosaccharides, which mono means one, so that's just a single sugar molecule. And then you have the polyols. I probably butchered that too. And that's like the sugar alcohols that's in food. It doesn't lead to intoxication or anything, it's just sugar alcohol. And some of the FODMAP foods, it pulls water in from the small intestine. And what that's what causes your diarrhea if you have the IBS, diarrhea side. And then people with IBS like me, it's just where your food goes up to your large intestine and it doesn't digest. It's just sitting there undigested. So when the unhealthy bacteria interacts with the FODMAPs in the gut, that's what causes your pain, your bloating, your gas, and that stuff. If you've ever experienced any of this, it is horrible. And this is really embarrassing, but one time I went to the doctor because I've been having problems for a while. I couldn't use the bathroom, so when I went in there, I had, so I went to the doctor this one time, and she was asking me, like, all these questions, you know, and I told her about having problems, and so she asked me this question, and this is so embarrassing, but she asked me if I can pass gas, and I just kind of looked at her, she's like, well, I know it's strange, but, you know, this is a really good or fair question 
or important questions what she said and I was like well no and so she felt my stomach and stuff because I go to her about every six months to check my liver and my stomach because like I said I have IBS and so she felt my stomach she told me I was stopped up basically from all that mess so she gave me some medicine and yeah so anyway there's my embarrassing story for the day but if you have IBS or any kind of digestive issues or stomach problems it is not fun it's not a joke and it is very painful so like I said the purpose of the fine map is just to determine what triggers your symptoms and what causes them what makes it worse what makes I guess it's easier for you to pass your stools. Um, and this diet is helpful to a lot of different things. It's for IBS, um, the FGIB, SIBO, eczema even, because, you know, food does trigger skin problems. It helps with rheumatoid arthritis, fibromyalgia, and IBD. So... So I figured I would just come on here and tell you a little bit about what the FODMAP is because I'm going to start doing this. I've had it for a while, I just haven't done it because there's a lot of stuff on here that I have to cut out and stuff and I love my food. But what girl don't, right? And I had a paper, but I think I moved it to tell you like some of the foods and stuff, but my daughter and is it but like I said I just this is going to be this is going to be like a series type deal the next video I'm going to be telling you what to look for on labels and stuff when you're trying to do the fine map but today I just want to give you a little bit of background and stuff about this and I'm not no professional I'm just going by like what I go through, what my doctors tell me, and stuff like that. I don't have any degrees in this stuff, so this is just for stuff to help you if you have any of these digestive disorders. Maybe this FODMAP can help you. But I hope this helps some of y'all. I just, I struggle with IBS on a daily basis, and it is just horrible. But I figured since it's health related, I could post this on my channel and maybe some of y'all have some of this and you're just too embarrassed to talk about it or whatnot. So if you have any questions, if there's anything you want researched or looked up or anything to help you, please reach out to me. You can comment below. I will comment back. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload videos and you don't miss out on none of them. And I am going to try my best to upload more on this channel. I know I haven't uploaded in a very long time. I've been focused on my bigger channel, which is me and my daughter that we do. And then I've had a lot going on personally, so... And then with my orders, I'm rocking the shirt that I made yesterday. I made this yesterday. So excited. So excited. But I do make t-shirts, decals. I'm going to start doing tumblers. I done this glass the other day too. Made a wine glass. But I made this wine glass the other day. And we're also getting into the epoxy stuff. So me and my daughter made these the other day so I'm going to start making that stuff I'm about to make diamond molds so I'm pretty excited for that but I have all kinds of stuff um I am going to be rebranding my business name because it is HS Vinyl Creations right now but I make candles I make wax melts now I'm into the resin stuff um I make glasses 
I can make hoodies, sweatpants, yoga pants. Hats. Um, oh, I'm making lip gloss as well. So I've got to come up with a name that I can incorporate all that together because I do so many different things and I've had a lot of orders lately. So I'm trying to rebrand instead of it just being HS Vinyl Creations because that was just when I was doing my t-shirts and decals. But I have since expanded. I've done decals and stuff for like six years. And my sales aren't that great right now. So I've got to go elsewhere to get my money right and to help me because single as a single mom I'm struggling to pay my bills and stuff but we're wanting to move into a bigger house because our house is so small but we'll get there I told her she just gotta be patient says you <laughs> but the house we're in is just too small for us but uh oh I'm also on TikTok if you want to follow me on there it's Heather K564 I'm almost at 1500 followers on there and I post like shirts I do. I do funny stuff. I do all kinds of content on TikTok. Also, I have my main channel of uh, on YouTube, which is Heather and AK. Um, or you could just look me up by my name, which is Heather Kennedy. I'm not sure what is easier for y'all. I will leave my link to my Instagram page in the description. I am on Snapchat. If you want that, you can let me know. I don't really fiddle f battle with Snapchat a lot. But I do have it because I do have some people that message me on there. <laughs> I have an Etsy shop, which is HS Vinyl Creations. So I will leave that link in the description as well. TikTok is just Heather at five, Heather K564. Feel free to follow me on there. I'm on there daily. So for now, this is it. I hope this sheds some light into your, to a diet if you're interested in trying this. I'm going to be trying this. I'll make another video because I do have a list from, I thought it was on my table, but I must have moved it yesterday. That has like what section that each food falls into because there's four main categories, which I told you today. And then the next video will be what to look for when you're shopping and looking at your labels on your cans and your foods. So until then, I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon.